In this video, I'll show you how to create a title block in AutoCAD. Title blocks are really helpful because they allow us to share information about our project with other people. Things like the project address, the project scope of work, and of course the sheet title and the sheet number. The final result should look something similar to what I have right now, and we will get into it and more. My name is Jay, and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube, and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's dive in. I'm using a floor plan that I created before as a reference point for us in this tutorial. I did make another tutorial where I go over this one step by step, and I'll leave you a link on the top if you want to check it out. But anyway, let's get into doing the title block. So the way I like to do the title block is to actually work on the paper space. Some people like to draw their title block within the model space, but the way I like to print to PDF is actually from the layout or the paper space. By default, every drawing in AutoCAD comes with an empty layout. This layout is actually using the 8.5 by 11 inches size, and we're going to switch that to fit the size that we are trying to do. The size I'm trying to draw is for a paper size D, which is 36 by 24 inches. To change the paper size of the layout, we can basically right click on the name of the layout right here, and then from here we can choose Edit Page Setup. And this will open this window from us. Another place you can do this is actually from the printing window, which you can access by typing print or plot. And it will give us the same or similar window essentially. From here, the first thing I'm gonna do is change the paper size. The paper size that I like to use for 36 by 24 is the one that's called arc full bleed. And I'm gonna choose it from here in the list. It's this one, arc full bleed D. I will also switch the printer to be DWG to PDF. And the last thing I like to do in this window is basically to switch the plot style to monochrome. That way when I print the paper or the result will come out as black and white, which is like the standard for doing the drawings. And then from here, we're gonna click on apply to layout, and then we're gonna click on cancel. Once you click on cancel, now you will see that the layout has the right size. Maybe it's not visible, but this is actually right now 36 by 24. And just like I mentioned earlier, by default, the layout comes with an 8.5 by 11. It also comes with a viewport right here, which you can keep and use essentially. But anyway, we're going to start from here. I'm going to use, I'm going to be using polyline. You can use lines as well, but I'm going to start with the polyline command. And then the first thing I'm going to do is specify the start point. I'm going to type 0, comma, 0, and then hit the return button. And this will allow me to start from the very bottom corner of this layout or this paper. Okay, I'm going to go to the right and I'm going to type 36, which is the size of the paper, and then go up, that's 24. Essentially, I'm drawing the perimeter right now, and I will use it to offset this polyline. I will offset by 2 inches for now and just see how that kind of looks like. So two inches, as you can see, is too much of a border. So let's do something maybe 75 inches. So I'm gonna do the offset command, and I think this is more reasonable to work with. We can also do half inch, I think that will be cleaner. And this will be the last time I change this. And then from the left side, I like to add a little bit, another maybe half inch. So I'll click on this point and then drag it to the right by half inch. Essentially, it's just to leave a space to staple the papers or the sheets if you essentially print this out. The original perimeter that I drew, I'm going to delete it because we're not going to need it and it's not going to be visible when we print this to a PDF. Uh, and the next thing, I'm going to start drawing the detail side right here. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to do the polyline, then go to the left, potentially three inches, and then go down. Three inches might be too small of an area, so I will push another one inch. Okay, so this should be good enough. And then this area in the middle, this I will leave it to include my viewports and to show my drawing. So we're going to start from the right side. I do have several fields I do want to add. Uh, from the type, I like to usually leave the company name and the contact information, things like the email or the website address or your address if you are doing this as a company and have a physical address. I also am going to add the date, I like to add the scale, the sheet title and the sheet number, and of course the project address. 
And again, we are trying to create something similar to this. We can reference it, but for the most part, we're going to create something very similar. Back to our layout here. So from the top, I will go down with the polyline. I'll go down potentially by four inches. Then I'm going to slide to the right. So this is the first one. And then from the bottom, I'm going to go up. Let's do two inches maybe. Okay. And then I'm going to copy this again and go up another two inches. And then now I'm going to start adding my text elements. And then if we need to add more, we will keep adding as we go. I will switch my text style to a style that actually works for a paper. And it's the one that I like to use. It's the JC001. By the way, you can download the text style from free. I, can, I will leave you a link in the description. And then I'm going to start the text command from here. So what I will do here is I will write, for example, JCAD. And then I will put, for example, I'll copy the text multiple times. So I'll go down, let's say quarter inch. Okay. And then half inch and then three quarters. Okay. So, and then I will place this for now here. And then this one, I will modify it. I will do the text edit command and then I'll select everything. And for example, I will put the company phone number and then I will put our email. You can put your email, of course, and put all your information. And then here, for example, we're going to say our address is Los Angeles CA and, for example, Burbank Boulevard, um, something. OK, so this is all good to go. The next thing I will do, uh, I'm going to leave a space here for the logo. I'll show you in another video how to place your logo within the drawing. But for now, I'm just going to use a circle and I'm going to reference this middle point here and then I'm going to do something like three quarters of an inch. OK, and I'll modify this text and place it in the middle and then I'll bold it and I'll leave it right here and then I'll change the justification. So it's from the middle right here and I'll do top center. So that way I can align this based on the point here in the circle. And then this one, I will change it actually to a different style just to show it double the size. OK. So this is where I like to put like the designer information for the rest of this information. We can essentially slide it to the right and maybe do here one inch. And for now, I'm happy with this. We can get more detailed into this, but you get the idea. The next thing I'm going to do is copy this again. And then here we're going to say, for example, actually, let's start a new one. So let's do a new text and I'll do like this. And then this one I will say drawn by and I'll bold it. Then I'll select it. Then I'll move it down by, for example, quarter of an inch. And then move it to the right by quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to offset this by half an inch. Okay, so generally, I think this is a good size. We can make it a little bit smaller, but for now, I'm happy with what I have. I'll modify the justification to be in the middle left. Okay, so that way it's right here. And then I will mirror this to the other side and then here, I will edit it, for example, and I will say J Jara, okay? And then I will select all of these guys and then I will copy it down and then maybe a couple more like this. So for example, drawn by, and then I will say checked by, and then here I'll place the date. And then maybe here we will do the scale of our drawing. I usually for the scale like to say as noted, you're welcome to place something like this. If you're placing a, um, a floor plan, usually at the scale I like to use for most of the floor plans I do is quarter inch because we're working on architectural. And then the date for this, for example, let's say 1, 1, uh, 20, 23, all right? And then the next thing I like to do is basically do another text and now we're going to copy this again, but I will modify this one. I'll switch the style so that way it's a little bit bigger. And then I will do text edit. And here I will say scope of work. I will expand the dialog box and then rotate it. For the scope of work, I like to leave a lot of room. So for example, I will offset this by maybe six inches to the bottom. Maybe a little bit more. Let's do another three inches. And then here I will slide this right here. And then to place this exactly in the middle, I will actually reference, I'll draw a line from this point to this point. 
and then I will modify the justification of this to be exactly in the middle top or the middle. Oh, we don't have to do the middle center. I will do actually the top center. Okay, so now I can control it from this point, place it in the middle, go all the way here, and then I'll slide it down. I'm gonna do by quarter inch, for example, and this is good to go. I can make this a little bit bigger. Maybe let's do that. I'll go to the next style. So that way it's double the size and then I'll slide this further. So that way this is, this has all the space. And then I will copy this down. Okay, and then let's do, for example, three quarters and then I will modify the style to be a little bit smaller. Okay, and then here I will say, for example, um, I think I was doing in the floor plan like 1200 square feet. Um, I will say new construction. 1200 uh, square feet and then I will copy the line again and then here I will do another half inch and then one inch and then one and a half so that way I create the spacing and I'll move all of them another half an inch so just that way I create uh, a little bit of a buffer so new construction and then here I will say two bed two bath or I think it was uh, one bath and then uh, for example this is um california compliant or something like that if you want to get a little bit too detailed uh, and then the last one you can leave it or you can basically um uh, you can basically like use it if you need it okay so the next thing we're gonna do is basically add the project address and then the sheet title and the sheet number before we continue if this video is helping you so far please consider liking and subscribing and if not, please let me know in the comments. I really would like to know how I can keep producing more and more videos and bringing value to all of you. Now back to the title block, I wanted to mention that I'm referencing some of the information I drew in here, but you can basically leave all of this information blank for you to basically uh, save or create later on. And I'll show you what I mean. So for now, let's actually leave all of this empty. I'd rather leave these empty and then We'll fill them in later on if we want and we'll keep going so the next one i'm going to create is i'm going to copy this text from here and i'm going to copy it to here and then i'll switch this i'll make the style a little bit bigger and then i'll expand this and here i will say project address now i can make this a little bit different excuse me and I'll modify the justification and make it from the top center. So that way it's controlled from here. And then I'll just slide down and place it here just to make like a little bit um, of a difference. And then I will copy this from here to here and then to the bottom. So the next thing, the last two bits of information I wanna add is basically the sheet title and then the sheet number. Now you can change the design to your liking. There's a lot of templates you can Google online. Uh, and in case I didn't mention it, I will actually leave you a link to download the title block that I have here and you can use that one for free. But back to the one we are creating right now, I'll actually leave a little bit more space for the sheet title because usually the sheet title gets a little too long and you wanna have the spacing for it. So now for the project address, I'll just add uh, like a placeholder here so let's do maybe two inches that's a little too much let's do half inch so i think this is good you can use the trick that i did earlier to place it in the middle right here but i do want to leave some spacing so let's see here if we have for example uh, um, three quarters so we can actually keep this line and then i'll actually use it for the sheet title and for the sheet number Maybe it's taking a little bit too, too much space. I'll actually move them a little bit by a quarter like this and then I will move this up. I think I need to move them up by one eighth of an inch. They look good. You can make it more precise if you want, but for now I'm happy with what I'm seeing. And then this one, I'm going to place it exactly in the middle right here. So I'll change this justification for this one. I'll actually make it in the middle center. And then the way this one I like to do it is I like to have two lines for the project address. And for now, I will kind of leave it empty. So, and you'll see in a second. So this is good here. And then I will copy this from the middle using the insertion point, which you need to have active in the snap settings from here. So just make sure you can see the insertion because that's what I used. And then from here, we're going to go to the middle 
Um, I'm going to actually place the line again right here, and then another one right here, and I'll delete them later. And then again, we'll copy this, and then here's the sheet title, and here's the sheet number. Okay, so now for the most part, we have everything ready. The last thing we're going to do right now is actually select all the elements we created. So I'll select all of these, but I will actually hold the shift button and deselect this one, this one, this one, and some of the text that I do want to use as a placeholder. Essentially, the fields that I will change later, things like the date and the scale, I do want to leave them out. I'm going to keep my name, keep all of this information here, and then I will use the block command. To do that, I'm going to do or type B. And then from here, I will call this J title block um, 3624 or size D, for example. So that way I can recognize it. And then for the base point, I will choose the zero, zero point, which is from the corner. So you do want to keep that there. And then we're going to create the block. And now if you choose, if you select this, you will see that this is a block that moves together. And then you just need to have these on top of it. Okay. And then you can modify them. So for example, let's say this sheet, I'm working on just the floor plan. Let's say I want to show this in a different scale, like for example, the quarter inch. So now we're seeing this at the quarter inch scale. I'll modify this a little bit to be smaller right here. Okay, and then I'll double click inside and I'll double click outside. So for example, the sheet, I want to call it uh, the floor plan right here. So from here, I'll come here, floor plan. And then if I want to create another layout with the same information, I'll actually select the layout and then I will duplicate it. And then from here, I will come here and then modify this. And then let's say we choose a different scale for this one. I will choose one eighth. And let's say we call this a site plan. Let's say we, am, we add an imaginary property line right here. Okay. And then I will modify the viewport. So that way we're only seeing the, uh, well, for some reason I can't select the border. Uh, it's right here. Okay, I can select this. Okay, now I can select it. So let's say I, also, I only want to show this portion, and then I will call this sheet the site plan. Okay, so now this is why I basically left this uh, text outside the the title block itself. Now that we went over all of this, you officially have a title block you can use for your projects and put all the information you need there. And again, if this video helped you, please like and subscribe. Any questions, leave in the comments. See you in the next video.